Nashville will come out strong. It should be a good match. Um, uh, you know, I would expect Nashville SC to win. We've actually, you know, been playing well at home this season, unlike last year. Hanning's been on fire. Fafa's been on fire. Schaufelberg's been crazy coming off the bench. Wheel is scoring with every single body part he has available. I'm going to go. Prediction. 3-1 win to Nashville SC. Hey, hey, hey. What is up, everybody? It is Uncle Mad here. Nashville SC match day Sunday, May 28th, 2023. Tonight, the Columbus crew visits for Memorial Day weekend at Geodis Park. We're starting the day off right, though. A couple days ago, a couple matches back, I think when we played Inter Miami, Fafa Pico scored and did like a I'm gonna eat celebration. And he shared after the match that he did that because uh, he had gone to first watch for breakfast that day and a local fan had seen him and paid for his breakfast. So in honor of Fafa Pico and that fan and that whole interaction, I decided that first watch is the new breakfast of choice for National SC match days. So I got some uh, breakfast tacos and some potatoes that we're gonna eat, get the same energy, the same power that Fafa Pico was best blessed with on that day and uh, have a nice little meal here. All right, we got the tacos, I believe the farm, farm, what are these called? I don't know, like farm hand tacos or something like that, and breakfast potatoes. So pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let's dig in. A little slim on the avocado there, just one little tiny strip, but you know, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Here we go, bone apple teas. Mmm. I'm feeling the Fafa Pico energy. Get a quick sample of ye old taters. Mm. Good flavor. Maybe a bit undercooked for my liking. Mm. Good taste though. Yeah, definitely a little undercooked for my taste. Hmm. Good seasoning though, well seasoned. So while I'm here, I thought I'd highlight some of the uh, fandom my parents put on display for Nashville SC. So you got your nice little yard flag here. Nashville SC supporters in this house. This one I find particularly funny because this is a very like old school, people of a certain generation thing to do. They printed the schedule off for the season and they've been going through and marking the result match by match by match by match by match so cool that my parents uh follow and support the boys in gold where are we at here we are nashville columbus geodas park may 28th let's get that dub oh they missed the this one charlotte i'll add the dub for them on that one all right, so we did a full vlog here before, but today we're pre-gaming at Dicey's Pizza Tavern. I can only assume I made a mistake giving away Dicey's as a good pre-game spot, spot on the vlog because it is way more packed today than it was the first time we came here. Don't watch my vlogs anymore. Stop stealing my ideas. Service has arrived. Bone apple teas. So good. And we are officially back home at Geodis Park. It always feels like we're here all the time, but then also that it's a long time between the trips. All right, it's been a minute, so it feels like it's a uh, good day for a team store pop-in. So this shirt is new. Not really something I would wear, but good to see their rotating in some new stuff. So this is this year's Pride jersey that I wore on top. Uh, I can't wear this. I can't wear white. I would just spill crap all over it. I do have last year's Pride top on today, though. Are the slides new? I think I haven't seen the slides before. I don't need them, but good to know they're there. More items from this year's Pride collection, scarf, hat, shot glass. So oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of like rubbery. 
All right, so I did decide to purchase the uh, rainbow shot glass, silicone shot glass. You can see here it's unbreakable, meant to be pretty durable, like uh, $9.99, not a bad price. I'm not a drinker, I'm pretty sure this little logo will fade off it pretty quickly, but you know, it's a cool item, seems cool. I don't need it, like I said, not a drinker, but just uh, it'll be cool to have. Uh, Jessica can use this all summer long when she makes beverage Genos. Zimmerman back in the lineup for the first time since he injured himself at the Taylor Swift concert. Not in the lineup, he's in the squad. He's in the 18, he's on the bench. Still Lucas McNaughton and Jack Meyer favored. The groin injury that Zimmerman mysteriously suffered while watching Taylor Swift perform persists. Handsome man has returned. Although not to the starting lineup. Keep it going. Oh my god, keep it going, 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 keep it going. Breakfast fade off. He's on the score sheet.
Danny. Salutes all the way around. Could be wrong, but I think somebody on a recent live stream predicted this match and put his three wide. Three one win for the boys in gold. It's weird, I think somebody on like a live stream that may have aired on this channel may have predicted that score line, but I don't know. I can't speak to that. Great result. I think the key to this game, and I said this uh, to the people I was at the match with, was this wasn't Handy Mukhtar's best day. Like he had a lot of turnovers. He didn't seem to be as crisp on the ball as he normally is. And he still managed to get an assist and like an all-timey worldly goal. Joe, man of the match for me. Big win, big result. Glad we got it because, like, I if you watched the live stream that I did, I talked about like that it was going to be very frustrating if we kind of scrapped the U.S. Open Cup midweek and then came back and did not get three points today. Got the three points, so once again, Gary proves he knows more about football than me. Kudos to you, Gary Smith. Uh, good result, good fun day at the Geodis Park. At the at the Geodis Park. I kind of think I got all three goals. I'll have to go back when I'm editing this to see how much of the third goal I actually caught. But yeah, three goals, three to one. National SC kind of flowing. Good night for Dan. Dan was good. Anyway, great day out at Geo's Park. Fun match, fun weekend. Whew. More to come. I'm gonna go watch the finale of Succession. Maybe the finale of Barry, if I'm able to stay up long enough for those. Because some lunatic put them on at the exact same time as the Nashville SC match. I don't know who did that. They should be thrown in jail. They also put AEW Dole or Nothing on at the same time. I'm probably not going to watch that till tomorrow, though. But I'll watch it all because that's my duty. That's my job. That's what I'm here for. Thanks for watching, as always. Subscribe to the channel. Channel? Channel? What's a channel? Oli. What's a channel? We don't know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at Taco Bell. One last thing. I did buy this Nashville SC silicone shot glass. I'm not a drinker, but Jess has this huge bottle of liquor that she's been drinking on. So I'm going to borrow some of her liquor. She'll probably yell at me for it, but I got the shot glass. I guess I got to test it out. Cheers. Alcohol is so bad. I don't know how you drinkers do this.